good morning. It's a beautiful first day of February. And it's also a beautiful day to cut a hole in our van. It's a scary day. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to the Home Depot right now to pick up some supplies to install our Max Air fan today. Which, like I just said, it's going to be us cutting a hole in the roof of our van. So that should be exciting. We're at Home Depot trying to find 3 16 bolts to add to the Max Air fan and we can't find them. Not We found everything else. Babe, will this work? Sure. Is that? No? Okay. Also, Woody does this thing when we're at stores and he basically no, not basically. He farts and then waits for me to smell it and it's disgusting and he just did that with a bunch of people around. You proud of yourself? Babe, what? I really found the ones we need. Will this work? Stop screwing around. <laughs> oh, awesome. we, need, we need Dicor self-leveling lap sealant. We have GE silicone and we have the other one. We got on top of the van. Scary AF, at least for me. Woody's over here calm as can be. This is a lot higher than it seems. Um, anyway. We're up on top of the van and we made this little makeshift seat because we're worried about denting the van with our weight. And we basically, and by we, I mean Woody, put two boards like this and then put a long board to sit on. So now we have this template and we're gonna trace around with a marker with the Sharpie. And then what are we gonna do? Um, we will go and drill a hole on each side here so that we can practice cutting a straight line. And then we'll drill out the corners of the drill and then cut going that way. Sweet. Or that way. Moment so of truth. Out. Chilling up here on the roof waiting for Woody to come back because I want to come up and come down. So sorry for the wind. I'm sure that's not pleasant. Um, I want to get up and down as little as possible because the wind is like blowing the van and it's shaking and we don't have any roof rails and it's sketchy. Woody says it's fine, but I'm a little sketched out. We have the square drawn here. This is going to be the main one. We're going to cut this out as a practice square to see how straight we can get our lines. All right, we're going to drill the first hole. Are you of ready, truth. babe? Yep.
Final cut. It's not attached. Oh, man. Oh. The wind. Okay. So my thought is we can have you go in and take this plastic down. Get the big vacuum from inside and hand, it, hand the hose up through here so I can vacuum off all of this up here. Yeah, it's very important that you get all of these little metal shavings. They all built up along here too. Because if you leave them and it rains or something, they will start to rust yeah. and then it'll start to rust the rest of your van. And you want to get them off as quickly as possible. So tip, we painters taped a piece of plastic underneath where we're cutting the hole to catch all of the little metal shavings. See, you can see them right here. Didn't really account for the wind and it's sucking the plastic up. So a lot of went back up on top of the van. And for an extra safety measure, I put some cardboard down. So now we're going to take this down and vacuum all over in here and move on to the next steps. There's officially a hole in our van. Hi babe. Hi babe. Should we just leave it like this? Yeah, it's a all nice right. sunroof. Woody just got done filing around the edges of the hole. And so now I'm going to paint it with the cutest little paint can ever, but it's Rust-Oleum Protective Enamel Paint. And we're just gonna paint around these raw edges to prevent rust. So right now, Woody is pre-drilling holes. Want to tell them why you're doing this? So that we can sand them off and paint them as well so that we don't get rust in the holes. So we're gonna sand all these little holes that he's pre-drilling and then put paint so they don't rust. Pre-drill holes, check. You can't really see it. Oh, there we go. Paint. Check. We painted all the holes and all along the outside and on the top. So now we need to wait for the paint to dry. We had to let the paint dry and we let it dry for as long as we had. We had about, what would you say, babe? Three, four hours? Three and a half, four hours. But because it's winter here in Utah, it's pretty damn cold. So it's still a little tacky, but we need to get this done because we won't have time to work on it tomorrow and we can't leave a hole in our van all night. So here goes nothing. I'm putting a bead of, or of silicone. Oh, shoot, that's a little bit much there. Around, so this says to do two rows of a 3 8 inch, which is what I cut the Louder. top of the silicone tube to. Real sorry for the wind. And for the lack of steadiness in my hand, it's really cold. The things you do for a van build. And that's, this piece right here is the, what do you call it? The adapter. Adapter that we bought the online. the Heinz adapter. Does not come with a fan. But I highly recommend it. It was worth the 60 bucks. And what's its purpose? So it, because it has little cutouts on it for these ribs on the van, it kind of self-centers. He's just went over. designed perfectly for the Sprinter, they've got them in the Ford Transit models as well. Um, the only place that I could find them was on eBay, but the person selling on eBay has free returns and had a pretty high rating, so I was very comfortable with it. All right, we have the silicone on the edges. And now we need to wait 30 minutes for it to 
set and be water ready. It take, technically takes seven full days to dry all the way, but we ain't got that kind of time. Yeah, it's gonna snow tomorrow night. So, see you in 30 minutes. I cannot believe we're still going at this. What are you doing now, babe? Walking down this side of this with, uh, of the flange. <laughs> with rubbing alcohol to get it all nice and clean. And dry. And then it'll dry out. And then we will take, we couldn't find thick enough butyl tape locally. So we found this thinner stuff and we'll go around it. And I'll put the name up here on the screen. Of the butyl tape? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can get this on Amazon in the three quarter inch thickness, um, but we did not realize Home Depot wouldn't carry it, and we didn't want to wait two more days to get it, so here we are. And what is that for? So this creates a seal between the flange and the adapter that we bought online. Got it. So you've got van, silicone, adapter, butyl tape, flange, and then you cover everything in self-leveling sealant after that. Okay. Just a little bit of stuff. We just basically need to go around it like this. And kind of push it into place just a little bit. Okay, right now Woody is putting all these washers on. He put the flange on top of the adapter and he's putting the washers on and then the screws. This is what the other side looks like. We're going to be putting some washers and nuts. Washers and nuts on each of these to cinch it in. All right, it's the moment of truth. We're putting the fan on. It's almost 11 p.m. It fits! I can't really see. But it fits. Now we just need to screw in those little holes. <laughs> and then tomorrow, because the silicone's still drying, tomorrow we're gonna come up and put the sealant around. But for now, at least the hole's covered. Woo! took all day long. Last step, it's the next morning. We need to put this sealant on. It just got too cold and too dark last night and we needed the silicone to dry. It turned out really well. Looks good. Good job, babe. Thanks. What kind of sealant is that? Sikaflex self-leveling sealant. Why do you need self-leveling? I have no idea, actually. <laughs> okay. Well, everyone says that this isn't the prettiest thing in the world, and we are no exception. It just like oozes out and levels itself out, but we put it all over the washers and all over the crack. And they only had gray and not it's white, boring. so it's fine. It should do the job. This is what it looks like from the inside. We don't have any batteries to test it, otherwise we'd show you, but we can only assume that it works. Looks pretty good. All right, guys, I think we're gonna end this one here. We hope you found something from this video helpful. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks. Bye. Bye. But it's a rust oleum protective banana. I'm gonna, ugh. We're going to put some Bull, okay. <laughs> I won't look, look that. I'm the Mandalorian. <laughs> You're ridiculous. <laughs>